Conversations podcast. Today on this segment of Blast from the Past, we are joined by Annie Jo Cannon, who is very well known for being a woman in science and also revolutionizing the way that astronomers classify stars. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Annie Jo Cannon. Today we are in the observatory on Albion College's campus, which is a perfect setting. Oh, okay. absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Well, I would just like to start off by asking about what your childhood was like. Well, I see, I was born on December 11th, 1863. <laughs> I'm, <old. laughs> I'm the oldest of three children. I have two younger brothers. I was definitely his favorite. Um, <laughs> favorite childhood memories is we would use, my mom and I, we would use this old, you know, astronomy textbook every night and count and track the stars in the sky. That's honestly what, you know, introduced me to astronomy and physics. And my mother encouraged me to pursue my academics at Wellesley College. I earned my degree in physics and astronomy. After earning my degree, I traveled Europe, you know, taking pictures with my box camera. <laughs> but sadly, you know, after I returned home, I came down with scarlet fever and lost my hearing. So that leads into my next question of how did contracting scarlet fever impact your life? Yeah, it was definitely very difficult for me because it did cause me to go mostly deaf. I isolated myself, focusing on my studies and um, my newfound interest of spectroscopy. Interesting. Could you explain a little bit more about what spectroscopy is? Yeah, so spectroscopy is the study of light and other radiation by matter, and I mainly focus on studying the interpretation of the electromagnetic spectrum. Interesting, and I hear that a lot of what you learned about spectroscopy was actually used when you joined the Harvard Computers. Could you explain about who the Harvard Computers are? Yes, so the Harvard Computers was basically a group of women hired by a Harvard Observatory um, director, and we mainly processed um, astronomical data and put it into different computers and books and stuff like that. The Harvard computers were very empowering for women, and especially at the time period, it was probably difficult being in a male-dominated field. What was that like? Honestly, it was very difficult, and nobody really supported us women in the science industry during this time, and we would get discriminated against and be called very nasty names. For our last question, um, could you give some advice to any young women out there interested in pursuing STEM or any science or astronomical degrees and who are struggling to feel empowered? Absolutely. For all you young women out there, don't let anybody get in the way of pursuing your dreams. The stars are your limit. Well, Amy, I just wanted to thank you for coming by and sharing a little bit of your story and what um, brought you to you being here today. And I hope you all enjoyed and learned something from Amy here. Thank and you so much for having me on of this. Of course, anytime.